All right, here we go. What's the news, Sean? This is your Thursday tax roundup of news for the week. Today is July 12th, and the big news coming in are China tariffs. So, Sean, what's, what's, the, what's the news? So, U.S. goods and services trade with China totaled an estimated of $648.5 billion in 2016. Exports yep. were $169.8 billion, and imports were $478.8 billion. So, wait. When you say exports, are those total U.S. exports? So I think our exports to them yeah. is 169 billion. 169 billion. But we imported 478 billion. 478 billion. Yeah. So we're at a trade deficit of 385 billion. Trade deficit of 385 billion. For the U.S. Okay. Yeah. So the news is the U.S. has 10% duties, right, on China? Yeah, so they want to do 10% tariffs on $200 or $200 billion of the Chinese goods. Yeah, so that's that 169 that we're talking about in 2016. Yeah. It's probably going to be 200 yeah, this year. Is that, that's what we're saying. So 10% on that, which is going to make U.S. goods, U.S. produced goods more competitive. Is that the idea? Yeah, where is the demand for U.S. goods? Is that what Trump's saying, or are we just guessing? Well, that's what they do. Like, it in theory. And it helps us. It helps you, or it helps domestic production. Yeah. yeah. Are we producing the shit that China's sending us? Are we producing tube socks? Does anyone know? <laughs> There's a list. You got a list here. Yeah, let's talk about some of these kids. What, what are these things? I bet you they're wrong this material. Is, this is a 400 page report. All right, we're not going to read that on the Thursday roundup. We're supposed to summarize the news, not recap. Uh, China's coming back with a 25% duty um, in China style. Um, and if, if Trump is half the man I think he is, he's, he's going to bring that up to 50%. So the punchline here, guys, is if you have anything in your home that says made in China and you want to buy more of that, you should buy it now. Definitely buy it now because the price of that stuff is going to go up. Um, I don't need my tube socks made in America. And, you know, I don't care if I lose three of my hundred followers because of that. But um, I definitely prefer to just pay less for tube socks. Um, in other news, Kylie Jenner is projected to be the youngest billionaire, um, beating Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, she's currently valued at nine hundred million. Uh, of that amount, her Kylie Cosmetics is worth about 800. They hit about 330 in sales last year. Incredible feat, incredible feat. Uh, by contrast, Kim Kardashian, who we think is more famous, uh, is only worth about 300. Uh, and I say only because, you know, here in LA, we don't really care about anything below 500 million. It's fair to say, right? Yeah. Um, so Kylie's killing it. She pays 10% to Kris Jenner to manage the business. Uh, and it looks like her fulfillment and manufacturing is done by one company uh, and they take about 55% sales. She has zero advertising spend because she is just the most followed person um, in the world, uh, has the most followers on Snapchat of anybody and 110 million on Instagram. So zero ad spend. So all told, she keeps 35% 35% operating margin, uh, not really tax news, but if she's not doing some offshore tax planning, um, she uh, is definitely paying a lot of money to the U.S. government. Uh, and the U.S. government apparently is going to start making money off of China and Kylie. So that's the big news for today. We'll let everyone enjoy their Thursday and let us know if there's anything bigger in the tax field that we need to be talking about today besides Kylie Jenner in China.